guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great so today i am going to be sharing with you my weekly self care routine uh, as you guys know that i am a minimal kind of girl so i don't do much but whatever i do i share that in this video and i hope you guys will love this video so yeah go ahead and watch the whole video so i'll start off by putting my hair up because i'm not gonna wash my hair today because i washed my hair the night before so i'm just taking a claw clip to secure my hair nicely and then we get ready for a nice shower cold showers are the best in summers like they're just perfect so i'll start off by washing my body i'm using this dove body wash in chia butter and vanilla and i'm using this loofah this is a natural loofah so i'm going to use that with my body wash honestly this body wash is so good like it smells divine it smells so yummy the vanilla fragrance is so nice i am in love with it then for my body scrub i'm going in with this love beauty and planets coffee and warm vanilla body scrub this is a little thick if you compare it with other body scrubs but it leaves my skin feeling so nice like so soft and you know nicely polished and exfoliated i really love the feeling of it and also it smells good not as great as a dove one but it's also nice and yeah after that i'm just going to use this gillette venus razor to shave off my underarms this is a regular razor nothing fancy and when we are done with our shower we're just going to do our skin care quickly i'm using this simple refreshing facial wash to wash my face today this is one of the best face washes i have used because this is a 100% soap free formula so it's very good for sensitive skin also it doesn't strip your face off any moisture so you can definitely check this one out if you have sensitive skin and you love a hydrating face wash then i'm gently patting my skin with this clean towel because i'm running out of my facial tissues then i'm just going to use this bombay face razor to shave my face i usually shave my face once a week but i'm not very regular with it to be very honest so what i like to do is i like to pull up my skin and i like to dry shave so i am going all over my skin gently to get rid of any peach fuzz but you have to be very careful with it because you can cut yourself also uh so be very careful although this particular razor is very nice this is one of the best that i've used then i'm going all over my nose as well because it makes my nose look shiny i'm going over my chin facial shaving is something that makes your skin feel very soft it ensures a very nice makeup application because your base is soft it exfoliates your skin so i really like it i do my upper lips also i never go to a salon because they like you know cause a lot of pain i do my eyebrows at home using the razor so this is a very good thing for me then i'm using this simple vitamin c clay mask this was my first time using this face mask because earlier i was using the innis freeze clay mask and that was out of stock so i thought i should get a new one so i got this one and yeah this was good i mean it had a nice cooling effect on the skin and the application was nice as well it was very smooth because it was very thin usually clay masks are very heavy and thick but this was very thin and very smooth so it dried off very quickly as well i mean i did not realize but i kept it for like 15 minutes but it dried off within a couple of minutes so if you're going to use this make sure you're rinsing your face off in a couple of minutes because it dries off very quickly and yeah after using it my skin was feeling very soft very nice and i really really liked it then i'm just going to go with my sunscreen i'm using my episoft Episoft is nice and all if you're staying indoors because it's only SPF 30. But if you're stepping out in the scorching heat, you need something like SPF 50 or 70. But yeah, Episoft is nice. It has a nice formula. It leaves no white cast behind, and it's very dewy and very nice as a moisturizer and as a sunscreen if you stay indoors. 
moving on to body care i'm using this plum body loving vanilla caramelo body lotion i just don't have enough words about this body lotion this is just pure divine it smells so delicious so yummy also this is very hydrating like very moisturizing on the skin this is not just a nice smelling body lotion but also very nourishing and it lasts on my skin for a very long time the smell lingers for at least 10 to 12 hours it smells exactly like sol de janeiro and i really 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 like it like sol de janeiro 62 i think i'm gonna buy this again and again then i'm layering my body lotion with this plum body mist in smoking vanilla i got the mini version from smitten and i'm in love with it i love how it smells and both of these combined like the body lotion and the body mist they stay for a very long time on my skin i already bought the bigger version of this one i am in love with it i absolutely love it then I'm going ahead with my underarm roll-on by Rexona. This one stays for a very long time. If you struggle with body odor, you should try this for now. This is very, very good. Coming to hair care, I'm just gently combing my hair with this wooden comb. This is a neem wood comb. I got it off Smitten. It came in a pack of two and I really love it. Then I'm just styling my curtain bangs because they were looking a bit flat. So I'm just styling my curtain bangs and nothing else. Then I'm going in with this Streak Street hair perfume. I found this randomly on Nykaa and I thought it would be great for summers because in summers even if you wash your hair regularly your hair can smell bad because of sweat and everything. So I thought it would be great to refresh my hair with this one and it does smell nice like it has a very nice refreshing smell to it. So you can check this one out if you suffer from excessive sweating like me. <laughs> And after doing my entire hair care thing, I thought my hair was feeling very nice and healthy. So I took this shot. This was very unnecessary to be very honest. Coming to the makeup part, I mean, I'm not doing makeup exactly. I'm just doing a few things just to feel good. So here I'm using the Blue Heaven Lip and Cheek Tint in Brick Beauty. And you can see how beautiful it's looking. The finish is so nice. It's dewy. It's giving you that within kind of glow and i love this product like i can vouch for this product all day long it's so cheap but the formula is so nice i'm not even kidding i highly recommend this one i absolutely love 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 this product so definitely check this one out then i'm just applying some powder because i have an oily skin but i don't know why was i applying powder that day because i was anyway gonna stay indoors and I'm just saying anything at this point because I'm tired of doing voiceovers. It's 2 a.m. and I'm doing this instead of sleeping. But yeah, this is also very important now. This is important to do so that you guys can get content. Then I'm going ahead with this Blue Heaven um, Cold Pencil in this blue color. And I'm just drawing a winged eyeliner just to match with my hair. I'm not doing anything precise or you know not going for a sharp eyeliner just something to match with my hair because i'm obsessing with my blue hair these days then i'm going ahead with my mascara i love mascaras because they open up your eyes and mascaras just make your eyes look so beautiful i love mascaras then going in with this dot and key lip balm in warm nude i love this lip balm i love the shade i love how shiny and glossy it looks and i love how long the moisturizing moisture the moisturization of this one stays um so yeah i absolutely love it you can see how shiny it looks here my makeup is complete and i am totally feeling it like that day i was totally feeling my look and i love when i do all of these things for myself it makes me feel good then i thought i would change my nail color also because you can see i was wearing different nail paints on my different hands so i went ahead with this color bar chocolate brown color for my right i, I think i was using my left hand to apply my nail paint so that is why it's looking so bad but it didn't turn out that bad it turned out pretty nice only and not that nice also now that i'm looking at it <laughs> but yeah it's, it's looking good only yeah that was it for this video i hope you had a nice time 
watching this video i'll see you again next time bye bye